Hey. I'm so totally not used to this anymore. A hey, good afternoon, guys. Welcome to a new video. Video number four, I believe. This is the first in our series through Italy. In the last video, we finished up all the adventures we wanted to have in the limited time that we had in Spain. We visited Bernie. That was a ton of fun. And then after that, we went to Austria for our snowboarding vacation. That was a ton of fun as well. We loved it. We're in Venice now. <coughs> um, Lisa really wanted to see Venice. After seeing the one city of love, Paris, we really wanted to see Venice as well. But we have a small situation. So, as you can see, we cannot. <laughs> it is misty. Uh, we have a super nice camping that's like really close to the center of Venice and that will bring us for a couple of euros to the center of Venice with a boat. So that's pretty cool. And we were like, oh, that's gonna be an amazing trip because we can see Venice from the water and stuff. And now it's misty. It's one big mystery where Venice is. <laughs> one big mystery. Yes, yes. So it's gonna be really fun. And uh, we'll see you guys there. I'll uh, update you. Voila, we have arrived. I just found out on the boat that Venice is an island. I did not know that. I looked at the maps of how close we were almost to the, to the, to the shore. And I thought like from the point that we departed that we would just go along the shoreline. But no, we went to an island. Apparently Venice is an island. I did not know. You might think that I'm just being an idiot for the fact that I didn't know. But that also has a reason. I'd like to believe that if you look up all the places where you're going to go, part of the magic of seeing that place disappears. This is why I like to know as little as possible from the place that I'm traveling to. Can you imagine the grin on my face when I realized that we would go to an island instead of a coastline city? When you find out that sort of stuff on the ride to that place, it just adds a little something that I love. Small history lesson uh, Venice. We walked in here and it was remarkable to me that there are a lot of shops with like these fancy masks, you know, which you also maybe see in the Purge movie or in like or on this. the ball. So we looked it up what it means. And apparently they used to wear this uh, these masks all the time. It originates from the carnival in Venice. That is a 12-day party where they all get dressed up, wear the masks and party. So that's that. I like that there are no cars here. It's like really... But a lot of people. Yes. Even today and still a lot of tourists. I do think it really looks cool though, with the mists going through the, through the alleys and stuff. It adds a bit to a uh, colder vibe that January has to offer. Imagine how busy it would be in summer. In summer! Yeah. <laughs> Rivera, che ha già da tempo Chile, Ivana Spagna, il cerchio della vita! I have my skates in the van. 
Lisa has been complaining that she wants to ice skate uh, for the last well, week since we left Mayenhoven. And now it's the first time that she doesn't have her skates with her. And now we come across an ice skating track. Really unfortunate. Yes, like where will the possibility be to yes. skate? Well, maybe in the Netherlands. <laughs> yes, no. It's a feel good dance! <laughs> oh. She's not talking our language. So, we just drove away from Venice and we had a reoccurring problem that the valve of our left behind tire was slowly leaking air. Quite expensive, but that's usually how it goes with uh, car stuff. Uh, and they didn't have it in stock today, but tomorrow they will. And now we have to wait 24 hours and then tomorrow come back and then uh, they're gonna change it out. Yes, that's the story of today. Thank you for watching our series to through Italy. We are now beginning our new series in San Marino. No, I'm just joking. We were on our way to the south when we came across the small country of San Marino and we thought what the heck let's uh, let's visit this place and let's see what San Marino is all about so we're spending a couple of nights here checking out all the, the good bits and the bad bits of San Marino because it isn't so big I believe it's like you, you can you can drive it in half an hour and then uh, if you have a good car for hills so it's not a big country but it's really it's, it's a really beautiful country Okay, we left Jus and we are on our way to uh, San Marino City, I think. Because Climb hills! It's again on the hill. Yes, yes, it's a very steep hill. And this time it's a 45 minute walk, so it's still quite a bit. It is apparently a uh, Texas discount Valhalla. Valhalla. So it's just like the airport, in my suspicion where they advertise everywhere that it's tax-free but it's really more expensive than anywhere else so. I'm curious if it's really the case Yes I don't know how to visualize it Yes, we'll see, we'll see See you there Say. Old building. Huh? I see a trend emerging and it has something to do with height. Yes, <laughs> yes, and castles. The things that we read beforehand was like you can shop here really nice um, I disagree <laughs> it's all these stupid cheap ass souvenir stores 
it feels a bit more premium but it's still the same crap it's quite fun but the views are amazing it looks really 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 cool really rustic i really like it i like the city so uh, me gusta me gusta mucho After exploring, we had lunch with the view of the hilly terrain around us. The route back was quite adventurous. It was a mountain bike and hikers trail around the old town, which led close to our camp place again. I would recommend this trail to everybody who happens to be in San Marino, because the views and the towers were pretty cool. After today, we are going more south again. It is not cold here, but it isn't exactly warm either. So it's time for us to head to anti-sweater weather. A couple days ago, we never thought of going to San Marino. But that is also the beauty of fan life. The spontaneous decisions to visit places you would never visit elsewise. I can't wait what our next adventures will be and what Italy has in store for us. See you guys next week. <laughs>